500 kilometers west of North Africa lies the small island of Madeira, which in Portuguese means forest, but it's far more than that. It's also known for its historic agriculture, for its rugged coastlines, for the aqueducts called Levadas, and the majestic cloud-filled mountains. We hiked five trails which we had selected as the best mix for a first-time visit of the island to get the most diversity out of our four-day trip. So here's our story of exploring the hiker's paradise, Madeira. The Fanal is part of the Lauri Silva Forest of Madeira, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. After the plains comes the forest with all of its ancient trees and dirty little secrets. The vegetation can be at times pretty dense. Actually, a few minutes later, we found the real trail is a bit further up and much more civilized, actually. forest this trail has also these two epic viewpoints and if you're lucky with clouds beneath your feet The first two hikes can be done in one day, so after having lunch in Porto Moniche, it's a 20 minute drive to Ahadas de Cruz cable car station. It stands on top of a huge cliff overseeing historic farmlands. The view down is dizzling. And so is the ride down with a cable car. But instead of taking the ride down, you can hike down the historic trail. Just buy the ticket before you start for the way up. It costs three euros per person and then walk along the coffee shop. The trail has a few exposed parts, but overall can be considered a safe walk. But it's steep, so don't do it in wet conditions. A 
Atlantida. Yeah, it makes sense because the Atlantic Ocean. After exploring the Pebble Beach, check out the traditional village of Faya de Quebrada Nova. It was once home to hundreds who were engaged in agriculture. Today, most of the homes have been unoccupied for many years. But we met a local who is still maintaining the roots of this village. It was a spontaneous meeting, so I just grabbed my phone. Sorry for the wind noise. But so you, you are also like uh, growing something, like agriculture? Not much, just uh, fruit, fruit plants, you know. Little house to enjoy, to relax. Yeah, it's a beautiful place here. Oh, yeah. We went down the, the hike oh, there. Went down, yeah. My wife came and laid around, but the cable car finished at 7. Yeah. I'm going the middle way to come and up with uh, her, like uh, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Yeah, okay, great. That is a nice way. You go on up by every Yeah, you want so it. <laughs> Ponta de São Lourenço is the easternmost point of the island, nicknamed the Dragon's Tail. It's a very popular trail, so expect crowds. looks like an oasis in the middle of the desert. Here you can buy snacks and freshen up before the final climb. On the way back, visit the beach and have a refreshing dip in the ocean.
By the way, did I already tell you about the roads in Madeira? They're amazing and insane. The road is so crazy here, so steep that my wife just jumped out. She's now walking. Oh man. She keeps keeps on going. The brakes are smelling a little bit. We have to cool them down I think. Yeah, be prepared for a wild experience, especially if you're not used to steep mountain roads. You'll have to use the first gear going uphill, but also downhill, so your brakes don't go up in flames. And just as a tip, don't rent the smallest car class as it usually includes the smallest engines. Make sure you get a turbo, you'll need it, also for the next trail. go up this way but no whatever you type in whether it's uh, Levada do Moinho or Levada Nova it takes you up this hill and it's it's just not possible I tried it several times but it's it's not even possible to do it with a normal car so um, some locals told me that I have to go a little bit further and then um, let's see if I can find it Okay, I guess I figured it out. Uh, the thing is Google Maps and ways they try to calculate the shortest route. And uh, if you come from Funchal, uh, the shortest route goes uh, through that crazy, super steep um, little road. So you have to go first to Ponta do Sol and then you can type in Levada do Nova. little tiny street Woo! oh man I made it this was some hardcore ride but finally we're up here let's go Levadas are aqueducts which date back to the 15th century and are unique in the world these stone channels capture the water falling in the mountains and carry it down to the farm fields. So there are some sections like these. Uh, it's super steep. Oh man, I wouldn't bring my kids here. Definitely not. I forgot to take my hiking boots from the car. Although it's flat and as you can see, it's pretty solid, but it would start raining. Hiking boots are much better.
This water is mainly for agriculture, it's not drinking water. But if you have something like this, you can always make it drinking water. Tastes wonderfully. This is where the switch from the one Levada to the other one begins. At this point, things got a little bit weird. There was no clear trail anymore. Instead, I had to find my way down the river by jumping around these boulders. Am I lost? I don't know. This is what the All Trails app shows. Fortunately, I met some locals who told me to follow the river for a bit longer and soon the lower Levada appeared. Some 100 meters further down I saw these stairs which I remember also passing by on the upper Levada. So it turns out this is the right connection between the two Levadas. lower Levada. It's also the older one. It is wider and it feels more safe than the upper one. Here I would bring my kids and my wife. So my final words was a good choice. You actually get two in one, two levadas in one walk. The last part, the climb up was a little bit challenging. So maybe you can switch the order and start with a lower one. Yeah, that would be a good choice. Now you're wiser than I was. Congratulations. <laughs> Madeira is also known for one particular man, Cristiano Ronaldo, who was born here. He has a couple of statues in Funchal, but in fact a much greater statue has been erected for another man. It's Cristo Rei, King Christ. And speaking of Jesus, he once said speaking of himself, narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there are that find it. And the next trail is the best illustration of a narrow and hard way that I have seen in my life. But it's a way that leads to the most majestic views. This trail is known as Pico to Pico. It starts at the third highest peak and leads to the highest peak of Madeira.
hardest part is when you reach the dead white trees. It feels literally like walking in the valley of death. But know this, the white trees are messengers that the white house is not far. last 500 meters to glory. Jesus is everywhere. Wow, you can actually see the starting point from here. And then all the way back. Oh, it's so hard. <clears throat> it's really hard. But incredibly beautiful. You can do it in five to six hours. A better plan for seven or eight so you can take breaks and enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the video and if it helped you uh, to put some of these trails into your to-do list, support me by writing it in a comment and uh, liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.